Hi, boys and girls. Now I'm gonna show you another activity you could be doing from your at-home learning packet this week. It is my hexagon book. But before we do our hexagon book, I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Hexagon. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Hexagon. <laughs> Mr. Hexagon, will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Why, yes. I am a shape that has six sides. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Six sides. Some things that are the shape of a hexagon are... Do you know? Do you know any sh things that are in the shape of a hexagon? You don't? Well, let me show you some. First of all, we have a lug nut. A lug nut has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, a hexagon. I also found a picture of some glasses. They're in the shape of a hexagon, aren't they? Yes, they are. How many sides do these frames of the glasses have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. It's a hexagon. Something else. Did you know that a beehive, the honeycombs in a beehive are in the shape of a hexagon? Look at all those hexagons filled with delicious honey. <laughs> Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a hexagon. A honeycomb is in the shape of a hexagon. Some other things that are in shape in a, hex in a hexagon that you might find in a hexagon shape are This is a quilt that has many hexagonal flowers on it. They sew together so nicely. Here's another quilt full of hexagons. I love it. Yay! Well, those are some things that are shaped like a hexagon. Me. See you soon. Thank you, Mr. Hexagon. Now let's get to our hexagon book. The first thing you're gonna do is, of course, write your name. We always love to see your name written on your paper. Next, you are going to trace the hexagon. Let's zoom in on it. I'm going to trace my hexagon blue. Start at the one. How many sides? One, two, three, four, five, Six, that's right, a hexagon has six sides. Now let's trace the word hexagon. H, E, hold on a second. The hexagon has, hexagon has the letter X in it. Hexagon, that's our letter of the week. A, G, O, N, hexagon. The next one, you are going to decorate the hexagon. Decorate the hexagon. Well, I love the fact that hexagons are the shape of honeycomb, so I'm gonna color mine yellow and black. Why do you think I colored it yellow and black? Yeah, because that's the sh that's, those are the colors of bees, right? Yellow, black. See, it's yellow and black. Some may say it's brown, I say it's black. All right, and then we are going to make the hexagon. So remember boys and girls, a hexagon has how many sides? Six. So it's always easiest to start where we started up here. Let's try to make it the same way. So we're gonna start up here, go down in a slant, go down in another slant, cut across, Go up in a slant, go up again in a slant, and cross the top, okay? There we have our hexagon. Now we are going to cut our hexagon book. 
into four pages. Just like that. Which one goes first? Well, the one with your name on it goes first, okay? Then trace it, then decorate it, then make it. Try to stack them up so they're lined up at the top. And a little staple. And there you go, you have your hexagon book. We trace it with our fingers and our crayons, we already did that. We decorated it, red and black like a bee, and we made it. Good job. I've got one more thing to share with you. What's that? Is it a, is it, is it a game? Is it a, is it another craft? What is it? Hold on, Mr. Hexagon. I have this. Let's do it together. Oh, fill in the hexagon. We can use some of our tangram shapes to fill in these hexagons. Let's try it, okay? So which one should we use first? Let's just use the main, the plain hexagon shape, right? Oh, good idea. That's easy. There we go. Now, for these two, we're gonna use different shapes to fill in the hexagon. Which one would you like to do first, Mr. Hexagon? Let's do the triangle. Okay, here's the triangle. Now, right there, good. What should we do next? Let's do the trapezoid. I love trapezoid, he's my buddy. Okay, well, let's do the trapezoid. How do we make the trap? Oh, flip it in like that. Good, oh, that kind of looks like a boat. Yeah. Now, what's the last piece we need? The rhombus. Rhombus! There we go. We've made a hexagon. So here we have two hexagons. One, two. Should we make one more? Oh, yes, please! Okay, hold on. Let's start this time with the trapezoid. And let's just take one more trapezoid and fill it in. I know, isn't it wonderful? Oh, it is. Well, that's all we're gonna show you about Mr. Hexagon today. Hmm. Don't worry, we'll see you again. Oh, say bye to Mr. Hexagon. Bye kids, have fun.